Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about bubble sort. Now bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm and using bubble sort we are going to sort the eight numbers that you see on your screen in ascending order. The key idea behind bubble sort is to compare adjacent numbers and to swap them if the left number is greater than the right number. The key idea is to move the larger number all the way to the right of this list. So let's see how bubble sort works using the pseudo code and this example. First, we have a flag swapped that is set to false. We then iterate through all the numbers in this list. We start off by comparing 3 and 44. 3 is less than 44, so we do nothing. So we move on and now compare 44 and 38. 44, the left element, is greater than 38. Therefore, we swap them. We next compare 44 and 5. 44, the left element, is greater than 5. Hence, we swap 5 and 44. We next compare 44 and 47. 44 is less than 47, so we move on. Next, we compare 47 with 15. 47 is greater than 15, therefore we swap 47 and 15. Next, we compare 47 and 36. 47 is greater than 36, hence we swap them. Next, we compare 47 and 26. 47 is greater than 26, hence we once again swap them. In this way, what we have done is we have moved 47 all the way to the end of this list. And at this time, 47 is sorted and it is present in the correct position of this list. So now we will iterate through all the numbers in this list except 47, that is from 3 to 26 and try to place the next highest element in the correct position in this list. Essentially, what we are going to take do is we are going to take 44 and place it near 47 or just before 47. Let's see how that would work. So once again, we are now going to iterate through this entire list. So we compare 3 and 38. 3 is less than 38, so we do nothing. We next compare 38 with 5 and swap them. 38 is next compared with 44. And we do nothing because 38 is less than 44. 44 is next compared with 15. And as 44 is greater than 15, we swap them. We next compare 44 and 36. 44 is greater than 36, hence we swap them. We next compare 44 with 26. Once again, 44 is greater than 26, hence we swap them. And at this time, 44 has been placed in the correct position of this list. This process is going to continue forward. So we'll start off once again by comparing 3 and 5. Nothing is going to happen because 3 is less than 5. We're going to compare 5 and 38. We're going to move on, compare 38 with 15. As 38 is greater than 15, we're going to swap them. Then the comparison is going to be between 38 and 36. A swap is going to happen. Next, we compare 38 and 26. 38 is greater than 26, so we swap again. And this time, 38 is in the correct position of this list. And we iterate in this way through the rest of the elements. And we see that now 36 has been placed in its correct position. We are now going to continue further, compare 3 and 5, and then 5 and 15, and 5 and 26. This time, 26 has been placed in the correct position of this list. You will see that the entire list has been sorted. With this, I'll complete this video. Thank you for watching.